Welcome to ABC 4 News at 10. I'm Glenn Mills. And I'm Emily Flores. We thank you for joining us here on this Wednesday night. From allegations of ritualistic child sex abuse to murder and cannibalism, the Utah County Attorney says the sheriff is opening a case that goes back decades, claiming it has no merit, saying it's a political move just weeks before the primary election. ABC 4's Courtney Johns joining us live in studio with more on the investigation and what both sides are saying tonight. Courtney? Yeah, Emily, it all started last night when the Utah County Sheriff's Office said they were investigating ritualistic child sex abuse they believe happened between 1990 and 2010. While the Sheriff's Office did not name any suspects, Utah County Attorney David Levitt said he just learned he and his wife are listed in an investigative report. Having read the 151 pages of utter baloney, My heart goes out to the 15 or 20 innocent citizens whose names are implicated, whose reputations are besmirched. I'm sorry that someone's effort at, at eliminating me as an elected prosecutor has hurt you. Not providing the investigative report during a press conference, Utah County Attorney David Levitt says this document connects him and his wife to allegations of murder and cannibalism. I don't know what they're investigating, but if it has anything to do with this therapist and the report of 25 years ago, that is 100% false. Levitt says that therapist was accused of sexual assault. He was my neighbor. I had a family connection. Saying the case was dismissed, Levitt adds the person who provided the statement is mentally ill. I take exception to any victim who comes forward and is, cat and is characterized as tragically mentally ill. How dare you? Sheriff Mike Smith responding, saying he never named Levitt or any suspect and more than one victim has come forward. Levitt is using his authority and his pulpit to bully, distract, and mischaracterize the facts of an ongoing investigation. Smith says the first victim came forward back in April of 2021 and had nothing to do with the case Levitt shared with the press today, adding that several law enforcement agencies are now involved, including the FBI. And I challenge Sheriff Smith not only to open his office for an investigation, not only to suspend Spencer Cannon pending that investigation, but to resign himself if it can be demonstrated that his office is being used for such illicit political purposes. Sheriff Smith also adds that since the on the 